Welcome back to my channel, So Happy. My name's Alex and today I've got something really cool to show you. So for a couple of weeks I was trying to find a fabric with heart lollipops on. I have an obsession with heart lollipops, I don't know why, but I just find them really, really appealing because I basically wanted to create a kind of really cool um, fairground dress. So like a dress that like a girl in the 50s would have worn with like a big bunch of candy floss to like a fairground because you know, as you do, needs must. Anyway, I couldn't find this fabric anywhere. So I just thought, you know what, why don't I give it a go designing my own fabric? And I did it. I had the best experience designing this fabric. It was so, so much fun. I got this fabric printed with an amazing company called Print and Press London, who I approached. They are a fantastic company. They're based in South London and all their materials are source in the UK. It's all eco-friendly and the way they print their ink is without water. If you want to find out more about the eco-friendly printing process I went through with this dress, which I'm also really, really passionate about, definitely go check out their website with their eco policy. It's really, really fascinating and it really gets you thinking about how fabrics are produced. Of course, when I produce my own fabric, I love the idea of it being made in Britain. And of course, this is made in Britain, which is so cool. Me and my best friend Caroline went to go visit the printer and she was amazing and super helpful and helped me with all the, the Photoshop and everything. So yeah, she's really great. So she's definitely go check out their page, they're awesome. So of course when I designed this fabric I had to go through several designs and prints and ideas. So this is one of my first designs I did. I used a gouache, um, Winsor Newton gouache on this really nice heavy paper. I love Winsor Newton paints, I've used them basically my entire life. My grandma used to paint and from a young age I used to play with her watercolours when I was literally like three or four. When I first came to England I used her watercolours all the time. But this is one of them I designed. And I thought it was really, really fun, but it wasn't quite the one I wanted. But I just love these little juicy elements. Yeah, I wanted the lollipops to look like super cute and super juicy and, you know, a bit of fun. Also, all these designs I basically created to become a tile. Now a tile is when you have a picture and you multiply it to sort of create a sort of, you know, like a polka dot kind of feel. Because I thought for my first pattern design, I really wanted to do something not necessarily simple, but something a bit classic, things that I generally love looking for in fabric shops. So yeah, I went for this tiling effect, as you can see here. So this is getting a bit closer now. So I did this one, as you can see, the colours are becoming a bit closer. And this is so cool. And it was multiplied. It was like, dee, 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 sort of like you know, and from afar when you've got them printed, um, so you can have them printed a different scale. So I wanted this one to be almost like the same shape as those mini lollipops you get. This one was obviously, you know, it's too big. So imagine if you had that on your bust, it would be <laughs> a little bit crazy. But yeah, I just love this one. And when we got it printed, um, um, shown up on the screen, it looked like tulips, which was so cool. And then when you got closer, they looked like um, little hearts. So it's kind of like a really cool, you know, what is it? What is it? Is it a heart? Is it a tulip? Is it a flower? Is it a lolly? What is it? This is another one I did, which I love. I love this colour. Is this coming up? Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. I love this one. The colours are so cute. I thought maybe in like a crepe or a rayon, this would just look <laughs> real pretty. And then we have the final design. <laughs> this is the one I am wearing. As you can see, it's so, so cute. But I got it done in this colorway, which I absolutely love. It's kind of like the perfect sort of like 50s sort of faded cotton. I just, oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. But yeah, here's um, the design. I absolutely love this. And then when I scan this into the computer, I basically just cleaned up the background. Because of course, when you scan painting, as you can see, if I do this, you can see all the paint, even though you try really hard not to get those strokes in. Like here, it's fine. But as soon as you magnify it, it's like you see your paint strokes and it's so frustrating. So yeah, I cleaned up the background and I basically made the sticks um, more sticky because I thought they looked a bit nibbly bibbly. But I love it. I love it like this. It's so cute, but on fabric, it didn't quite look right. But anyway, here is the print. <laughs> I just, how cool is that? It's like, ooh. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely adore this fabric. It's so cute and I can't believe this came from my head and then into a pencil with lead in, onto the paper, paint the paper, scan the paper, put it on the fabric. It's like the most satisfying thing in the world. But yes, here it is. I absolutely love it. It's got little hearts on. So this fabric was produced in London, which I just think is so cool. I actually went to the studio myself where they had the fabric printing machine and saw the whole process. And it was basically like walking into Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It was so cool to see that actually happening. It was like, whoa. So yeah, I think the process is just amazing. It's so satisfying and I absolutely loved it. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be producing some more in the future. I've already been doing lots of drawings and paintings and I can't wait to make more. <laughs> See, I just thought it was a great idea to start with something a little simple as my first little me project and just, you know, expand from that. But I absolutely love it. And this dress is the, um, sorry, I keep looking up because like I have hardly any battery left. So I'm just like, <laughs> so this pattern is the Pauline Alice, Pauline Alice Camby dress. I'll put the pattern here. 
Um, it was a really lovely pattern. The only thing I wasn't so keen on it is that the largest size in the whole, the pack, I'm not sure whether, I should do some more research before, before saying this, but the largest size in this particular pattern I had was me, uh, which was quite frustrating because my bust is over 40 inches. It's like 40 and a half, depending on when it is, if you get what I mean. Um, it's over 40 inches, so there's a lot of boob, <laughs> which I love, which is one of the reasons why I started sewing, because um, of <laughs> all of this. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this dress pattern. Other than that, I don't have any um, issues with it, but I mean, look at the sleeves. It's that detail that made me want it, and you can have them down or up. I really enjoyed the whole process of creating this fabric and the fact that it came from my head, and then I got to draw it myself and put it onto fabric. It was just, so cool. It was basically like creating your own dream Easter egg or something. Like, who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> so I've put the link down for Print and Press um, London, so if you want to work with them, you should totally go ahead. And it's all eco-friendly and in the UK, so it doesn't get much better than that. So yeah, I can't wait to produce um, more fabrics like this, um, maybe some different prints and ideas. I've been working um, by doing some big paintings and like doing some really cool things on Photoshop and producing that, so I can't wait to show more of that to you guys in the future. Um, it's been really, really fun. I've been really enjoying it. So yeah, this is something that's really giving me a kick in life. <laughs> Let me know in the box down below, have you ever designed any of your own fabrics? And do you like mine? What do you think? I'd love to hear what you think about my lollipops. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it's a little different and I'm really excited to show you guys and it's been like, Ooh! Enjoy the rest of your day guys and I'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye. <laughs>